poised to enter a convent, then she fell in love, mytimes.com. Log in. Register now. Help. Home page. Today's paper. Video. Most popular. Edition, U.S. Global. Search all mytimes.com. Booming. World. U.S. New York. Region. Business. Technology. Science. Health. Sports. Opinion. Arts. Style. Travel. Jobs. Real estate. Autos. Advertise on mytimes.com. Making it last. Poised to enter a convent, then she fell in love. The Kellys in their honeymoon cruise in 1982. I told her that maybe she had been praying and maybe the answer was me, he said. By Eric Allen. Published, September 6, 2013. Booming's Making It Last column profiles baby boomer couples who have been together 25 years or more. Send us your story and photos through our submission form. Enlarge this image. The Kellys a few years ago. At times I thought it would not be as close as it once was, but good times came again, she said. Bob and Carol Kelly met in Durham, North Carolina, where Bob worked for the Environmental Protection Agency and Carol was doing a medical residency at Duke. Today they live in Ardsley, New York, and have been married 31 years. Bob continues to work for the E.P.A. as an air pollution meteorologist while Carol is a geriatric care physician. The couple have three adult children. An edited and condensed version of our conversation follows. How did you meet? Carol, I was a second-year medical resident. We were in the same Catholic young adults group and connected at a conference we attended to represent our parish. But, she ended up getting in an intense conversation with another member who was conflicted about becoming a priest or a doctor, and stood me up. But, we had dinner many times at her house and would just talk and talk. There were things she would say that spoke to me, things that I was listening, for in my life, some religious, some not. Carol, the residency program was 43 people and 3 were women, so a lot of my social life was with men. I considered myself one of the guys. I didn't realize until a mutual friend told me that Bob seemed to have a different perception on our relationship. There was something he didn't know. Carol, I was planning on entering the convent. When our friend told me that Bob thought we were dating, it led to a conversation and Bob told me that he was pretty certain that I had a different call to vocation. Bob, I told her that maybe she had been praying and maybe the answer was me. Our relationship got a lot more serious after that. Pretty bold. Bob, she was shocked, but it opened up deeper conversations about what she wanted. Carol, I finally opened my eyes. I came to understand why every time I had almost gone into the convent something came up. I have lived out my service differently than I had envisioned, through my job, as a physician first in the Bronx and now in geriatric care. What about your parents' reaction? Carol, confused. I was 27, so a child I was not. But I had been thinking of entering the religious community, since I was 15 and my father had strongly objected. It had to do with what he perceived as the second-class citizen status of nuns. And from early on, my faith community felt that it was not good to go against my family's wishes, so I postponed. Then right at the time my parents were beginning to accept it, we announced we were going to be engaged. The appearance of our first child a year after our wedding made things easier. But, it wasn't, because they didn't like me, they just didn't understand. When I asked for her hand, he just said, go ahead. That was it. And parenthood. Bob, fun. We talked out the options about child care, but when our first was born we didn't want that, so I stayed home. I worked it out, so that I went in just one day a week. But after eight months they were going to give my job away so I went back. Carol, I was in the National Health Service course, but when my service was completed I worked part-time and worked less than most.